everyone in this video i will go over my solution for the problem named zor is equal to average taken from saran's law this problem is an excellent problem which will teach you a few basic properties of bitwise zor and how we can use constructive algorithms to print a sequence because in this problem we need to print a sequence of integers given the length of the sequence and the sequence should satisfy the constraint that the zor sum of all the elements in the sequence is equal to the average of all the elements this problem may seem very hard because of this weird equality which needs to be satisfied and the fact that you need to print and construct a sequence of n integers but actually there's a very simple idea which can be generalized for any n and uh, that's why it's it's b so let's figure out how we can find a sequence for various values of n so when we take n is 1 we know that any a1 any x is equal to a1 satisfies the condition that the zor of all the elements is equal to the average of all the elements because we know that the zor sum of all the elements is is just the single element and the average of all the elements is again just the single element so when n is 1 it's a trivial case when n is 2 we need to think a little bit this is actually the hardest case and if you understand uh, if you can figure out a solution when n is 2 you should be able to figure out a solution for any values of n so when you take n is 2 we want to find out two numbers x and y such that x zor with y is equal to x plus y divided by 2 and in order to find such two values you could either write a brute force code which iterates through many possibilities of x and y and uh, or you could just use a calculator and try to figure out two numbers so if you use a calculator and if you experiment with a few values you will realize that 2 is or 6 and the average of 2 with 6 both are, both give you 4 that's why we can just print 2 comma 6 for this test case when n is 2 so the key idea is that we can extend this solution of 2 comma 6 and uh, for any n but uh, let's first take another example a few more examples to help build the intuition behind why 2 comma 6 can just be repeated again and again to get the correct sequence for any n so let's take n is 3 notice that when n is odd when n is 3 or n is 5 or n is 7 or even when n is 1 if there are an odd number of elements then you can just repeat the same element so if you take if you take n is 3 and if you take three numbers let's say uh, x x x then the bitwise zor of all the elements is equal to x this is because of a property of bitwise zor or uh, the property is that x zor with 0 is equal to x and x zor with x is equal to 0 so if you know these two properties of bitwise zor you will realize that for any odd sequence of elements the bitwise zor of all the elements if if they are all equal to each other will just be equal to the single element so the bitwise zor of all the elements Uh, is equal to the single element when there's only one element it's obviously equal to x when there are three elements it's equal to x again and when there are five elements and so on the bitwise zor is equal to x and e and since all the elements are equal we know that uh the entire array is average is equal to the single element which is also the bitwise zor of the entire sequence and uh, that's why we can just print any number so for odd n for odd n just print any number n times print for example you could print uh, 1 1 1 n times because this array has a bitwise zor equal to 1 and the average element is also 1 so odd n is pretty straightforward if you know the two properties of bitwise zor for even elements we need to construct 
a clever solution using this sequence 2 comma 6. So let's try to understand how 2 comma 6 can be used for even n. So let's consider the simple case when n is 4. When n is 4, we want to try and do a similar thing that we did when n was equal to 2. So let's try something out. If we just repeat the sequence 2, 6, 2, 6, it won't work because 2 is or with 2 is equal to 0, 6 is or with 6 is equal to 0, and 0 is or with 0 is equal to 0 because once you take the or of all the elements, you're left with 0 and you're left with 0. I mean, 2 is or 2 is 0 and 6 is or 6 is 0. So you're left with two zeros and the bitwise or of that is just 0, which is why this, this experiment doesn't work. Uh, and this is what I thought of first when I thought of the case when n was 2 and I thought of extending that to n is 4. However, uh, there is a simpler construction which relies on the fact that 2 is or 6 is equal to 2 plus 6 divided by 2 and this is the average element which is equal to 4 and the groundbreaking idea is that you can use this number 4 instead of trying anything else. So if you use this number 4 again and again in the sequence, if you construct the sequence to be 2, 6, 4, 4, this actually turns out to be a valid construction because 2 is or 6 is equal to 4 and we have only two 4s left. So we have 4 and 4 left and notice that there are an odd number of 4s. So this just turns out to be 4s or 4s or 4. And we have basically reduced the problem to the case when, when, when there are odd number of elements. And we know that when there are an odd number of elements, we just need to repeat one number again and again. So in this case, we can clearly see that 4 is the repeated number. And 4 is also the average of all the elements because if you take 2 and 6, the average of that is 4. And you have everything else in the array is all 4s. So that's why the average of the entire uh, array of four elements is four and you can extend this for any n so if you take any even value of n for example 12 it's just a random number uh, or 14 14 is more random than 12 so let's take 14 uh, it's clear that you can extend the same idea so you can take 2 6 and you can fill all the elements with 4 again so you will get 12 occurrences of 4 so 4 comes 12 times and it's clear that when you take the bitwise or 4 is or 4 is 0, 4 is or 4 is 0 all the way up till 4 is or 4 is 0. So this entire bitwise or is equal to 0 and you're left with only this which has a or of 4. So that's why the or sum of all the elements is 4. So this is the or sum of all the elements and we know that the average of all the elements is also 4 because the average of 2 and 6 is 4 and all of these are 4s so that's why this all sum is equal to the average and the problem statement is met the, the condition is met so this is the simple construction which works for even n and for odd n you can mimic the same thing by just printing for uh, uh, n number of times or you could just print any number n number of times but for even n you need to print 2, 6 and then 4s everywhere. So I'll show you the code which basically prints the exact same construction using a for loop. So uh, in the code for each test case, I take in the length of the sequence. If the length of the sequence is odd, we just repeat some number. So you can repeat any number n times. So you could repeat one n times or you can repeat four n times. It doesn't really matter. But for the even case, the length is even. This means that we need to ensure that uh, we need to ensure that all the elements have have um, a common or. So uh, the common or in in this case is four. You could you could again construct any other possible uh, pair of elements which have a or equal like, like there are many possible constructions which you can do but this is one of the simplest constructions in which we just 
utilize the fact that 2 is or 6 is equal to 4 and 2 plus 6 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So this means that Zor sum is equal to average is equal to 4. And that's why you can print 2, 6 and then you can print 4 n minus 2 times where n is obviously greater than or equal to 2. So when n is 2, you'll not print 4 at all. When n is 12 or n is 14, for example, you'll print n minus 2 times. So you'll print 4 12 times and the other two numbers are 2 and 6. So you can verify that this code gets accepted. I hope you like this problem and my solution. If you have any doubts in any part of the solution, do leave them in the comments down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you.